I don't know what else to do. I don't, I, I don't know what else to do. I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger. How you guys doing? Let me see if I can get you a little closer. Child, I just made it to Bobby's game. I'm not going in this time. She missed the first game because she had to work. We had to drive about 50 minutes to get here. I said I was going to sit in my car. I have too much to do. And I didn't do anything. Well, I did a little bit yesterday after I got home. But I just wanted to have a moment to just do nothing because I haven't had many of those weekends where I just did nothing or wasn't stressed. Yeah, the stress is still there. And um, so I'm just like, I'm just gonna sit here. I don't mind sitting. She only has one game. That should be over in about 30, 40, 30, 40 minutes. She just made it here. The game started at four. She probably had like 15 seconds to run in. And I thought about getting something to eat. I have a bump on my tongue, guys. If I eat anything citrusy, that's why I don't mess with pineapple. But I started eating these apple caramel lollipops. These lollipops only come out around Halloween time. And I think the, um, the sourness from the lollipop did it. And I was like, no, I drank grape juice. I was like, maybe it was a grape. Then I was like, mm-mm, you've been going to town on those lollipops, so... It just Bobby. This is this is specifically why I don't eat pineapple. Uh uh. And Bobby said when she eats pineapple, she lose her taste buds. She can't taste for a good while after she finishes the pineapple. And she loves pineapple. You know, my life really has been school. I say I school late. Then I come home. Then one of the kids have to go somewhere or I'm tired. So I have not been vlogging at home because the kids either have homework and when they're stressed about homework, there's no interrupting them at all. I can't interrupt any of the kids. So I just, you know, I try not to bother them with vlogging. I don't have my eyelashes on today, y'all. <laughs> I was in bed. I just, you know, cleaned up my room and stuff. How y'all doing? I ain't even asked. I'm so rude. I'm sorry, y'all. How y'all doing? But I want I do have a complaint. I sort I need to go get a whopper. But as we were driving here and got into the neighborhood, I was like, I don't see no little restaurants, no fast food, and I'm really not hungry, hungry. So I was just like, forget it. But I don't know if I'm last. I think I may have to go to the bathroom. But I do got me some uh baked goldfish. The the kids got these um to put in their lunch. So they do have these and I brought this, but I don't have water and I can tell my lips are starting to get dry, bro. <laughs> Look like I've been eating powdered donuts. <laughs> I think I have a chapstick in here, but school has been crazy. They're gonna bring everybody back um, to campus. I'm looking for some chapstick. They're bringing everybody back to campus the 21st. So, I got to figure out additional seating again and fit more seats up in that classroom. But, I was going to do a video. I wasn't sure if I was going to put this on my teacher channel or my regular channel. So, I really don't know. But, let me tell you. I already complain about certain things. <laughs> it is what it is, okay? This is how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, I'm telling you, if you are thinking about becoming a teacher or if you are a parent... Sometimes parents make teaching hard. Teaching is hard already, but it's even harder based on what we're all experiencing for the kids, for the parents, for the teachers, for the administration. It's been hard on everybody. We're experiencing something that we've never experienced before. So it's it's been it's been it's been rough on everybody. And the teachers Honey, we are, we've been thrown into, it feels like we've been thrown into a washing machine and we're trying to figure out how to get out. <laughs> That's what it feels like. And then what happened, then you throw in a whole bunch of Tide Pods, the complaints, the complaints. We got to learn this, all the Tide Pods coming in, coming in actually, coming in actually. Like, what, 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 what? That's how 
it feels. Stop throwing the Tide Pods, okay? Don't throw any more Tide Pods up in this wash machine. <laughs> That's how it feels. But the number one thing, I mean, like, if you, you have administration that's not supportive, I mean, or you have some co-workers you have issue with, that's a whole nother thing. You know, that that's going to come pretty much with any job. But, baby, and I already talked about this before. I'm talking about it again. Just pretend like you didn't hear me talk about it and this is your first time hearing it. When you deal with a parent... So let me tell you, parents, they make your job. They, I think they, um, a, a difficult parent, I would say they make your job, they kill your spirit a little bit. They make you feel a little down. You know, of course, some teachers are stronger than others and they let it roll off their back. But when you, when you know we've been put through so much, you know you've been working tires tirelessly you know you've been giving your all you don't hardly you don't hardly have weekends you stay up to two three in the morning trying to learn this system trying to make learning engaging and fun trying to get the kids to uh want them to open the folders that you created because you had you learned a little html um programming and you know how to do this and you know how to picture to pop up to make them want to click on me click on me trying to make the assignments engaging and going to your trainings looking at videos working with your team trying to come up baby and then you had kids who not doing the work my thing is you know, well I had experience a couple of experiences but some of people are nice but it's like some parents not all they want to put the blame on the teacher they want to put the blame on the system they want to put the blame on everything or everybody else but not the child and not themselves not the child and not themselves so i'm leaving on friday you know i'm like joy you are not staying late on friday you gonna get your tail out of here just leave because i'll stay to seven i'll stay to eight one time i almost stayed to nine o'clock at night so i was like joy you are not doing that go home and just Lay in your bed. That's what you're going to do and turn on the TV. I don't remember the last time I done watched some Netflix, okay? So anyway, I was like, just get out of here. So here I go, packing up my stuff. And I said, let me just look at the emails before I go. Because <laughs> I'm trying to manage the uh, influx of emails that come in, you know. So trying to just, just, just look at it, Joy. Just look at it. So I'm like, um, parents want to know. Why does my child have a 70? Why, 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 why? Where's the rubric? Where, where's the information? How does she get this grade and this and that? How did he get this? I'm like, send me a list of the assignments too. I'm like, well, Joy, just take one for the team. Have a seat, answer this. So therefore, it takes time to go to each assignment. Then you got to go to the folder. When did, when was it due? When did they submit it? When was this one due? When did they submit it? So the policy at our school, if your assignment is three days late, three days, we can start the grading at a 70. You just chose not to do the work on time or you were busy. I get it. So the school policy, they said that we can start the grading at a 70. That's with three days late. And then each additional day, you can take off points. You got that? Three days, you start out at 70. I don't know, when did we start school? August 11th? I don't, I don't remember, but it's like August 11th, I think, right? So when I go in and check these assignments, these assignments are three weeks late. So you want to do the math? If it's 10, point, 10 additional points after three days, after 70, so you got 70, 60, maybe for the fourth day, 50, the fifth day. So this student should probably have a zero when you hand in and work two and three weeks late. My little heart, I can't do it, y'all. I know, I know I'm not very strict. Maybe I need to be strict, but my heart can't do it. So I'm like, the assignment is 
late, late, late. I mean, late, late, and late, late. I'm just late, okay? So, Maha, I'm like, Joy, just, she's gonna, this person's gonna get a 70. Just give them 70. Now, if they have, they start at that 70, I don't go lower than a 70 if you hand it in the work and it's quality work. If I see that you have not mastered the skill that we're teaching, I may go down to a 65 and if you just off the rocker, you'll get a 50. I don't go lower than a 50, then I'm talking, then I'm sending you a message. You need to come for tutorials or you need to review the videos, everything that we included in that lesson in that folder. We include videos, we include pictures. I stay after work sometimes and do voiceovers over my uh, slide presentation. I go above and beyond. So if I show you, if I notice you don't have that mastery, uh, you know, you just need a little help, I'll do 65. So if I see a 65, I was like, they just missed the lesson. They didn't get, they didn't get it. Now, if you got a 50, you were doing math homework and you submitted that to me. <laughs> That's what you get. So I'm showing grace. And so I show grace. I know, I know, I know I probably shouldn't, but I know a lot of things are going on. And I know some of the kids, and I get it. These are 11, 12 year old kids. Now they have to manage all the core classes, math, science, history, all these, and electives, and all these folders, folders everywhere. So, because it's online. So I get it. And that's a big responsibility to put on 11, 12 year old. Now you gotta manage all your time and manage all these folders and all these dates and this and that. I get that it's a lot. So I was like, you know what? If they did the work and they trying to catch up, I got you. Just hand the work, hand in quality work, read the instructions, do the assignment, watch the videos, do all the things, read everything that kept us up to two, three in the morning creating so we make sure you get the lesson. So it's like all the time, my team members and I working and then you, you, you don't read the instructions and stuff anyway that's not the problem so then i'm like i'll give a 70 i'll give it 70 right then i one thing i was like yeah you kind of missed it yeah i'm gonna give you a 65 so me i'm i'm 50 65 70 if your stuff is late i can't i can't i can't give a zero now i will put a zero once i do all my grading all that all those assignments then there's a button you press for all the blank spaces where work was not submitted you know after the due date then um it puts a miss it puts like a circle but it also alerts the students that something is missing so it puts a zero in that space so it's like hey hey how you doing you need to hand this assignment in hand this assignment in you know miss basil got you starting at that 70 though now if you one or two days late i don't i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm i don't mind Just don't tell anybody i said that i really don't mind if you one or two days late but when you like a week two weeks and three weeks late you starting at that 70 but you know, hand in quality work. I'm gonna give you the 70. So if you hand in your work on time for a little assignment, you easily get a hundred, right? If it's quality work and you've shown mastery. Baby! That wasn't good enough. Well, why did she get a 65? Well, ma'am, cause she didn't do the assignment right. So I'm the blame and that is the silliest uh grading policy they have ever heard but if i follow that grading policy ma'am your daughter will have zeros across the board so i think i've kind of shown her a little grace why are you arguing with me why does she have two zeros so i guess you didn't follow the grading policy of, of, of giving grace <laughs> ma'am your daughter just submitted that assignment just now I'm not sitting up grading stuff at 9 10 o'clock at night although I was reading it at midnight but then you could set your emails to go out in the morning so I was like ma'am she has a zero because I haven't graded it yet I haven't even opened it because she submitted it today something that was due three weeks ago so once I get to look at it, then the zero will be replaced. 
If you have other issues with the grading policy, ma'am, please speak to the AP or the principal. I'm, I don't know what else I can do. So I don't understand. It's always something the teacher did. Never look at the parent. Maybe you should have, you know, maybe checking your kid, maybe open the folders with your kid and navigate. Well, how do we know what dates? Because on my folders, I, I, for my visual baby, I look up week one, a big cute one and colorful week one square. Week two, week two folder here, a big colorful folder, graphic, beautiful. Took time to put that in size here too. It's like, bam, I am week two. Your week, you've been in school three weeks. This is the work you're gonna do for the third week at school. Click on a folder and start doing that. Then when you click on the third week folder, I got more folders in there that says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with dates attached. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I don't, I, I, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. But let me tell you, when you deal with difficult parents, not but, but you know what happened. The mama, the mama looked at the grades and be like, how you got a 20? Because it was a whole bunch of zeros. How you got a 20? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I know you be working. You be working. I see you working. Yeah, on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. I see my child. My child be working. Well, ma'am, according to this, she just now starting to do those assignments because I can tell the time that she submitted them and the day. I can narrow it down to the second. I can tell you how much time she spent in um, our uh, platform that we use for all our grading stuff. I can tell you how many hours she spent. Doesn't look like many to me, so maybe you need to check with your child and check your child instead of trying to check the teacher or the administration. You need to look at your child or maybe even look at yourself because you didn't take the time to make sure the child know how to go through the folder. Although we provided videos on how to do all the folders and navigate the folders and I have tutorials several times a week that I post on everybody's calendar that anybody could attend a tutorial matter of fact I just had two parents attend a tutorial and I gave them a lesson on the stories that we read and they were more grateful after I finished tutoring them they asked their daughter can you now talk to our daughter and tell her the same thing you told us so we can all get the lesson together so I don't know how about you do self-reflecting and maybe get on your child's your child's case not my case the one who's working tirelessly doing everything i can to provide everything i can for all the kids but it's never enough it's never enough and it's never the child and it's never the parent it's the teacher it's the teacher's fault hey, but you know another thing as an educator You can have parents who can talk so down to a teacher and make you feel like you are nothing. Make you feel like, didn't I just sleep just two, three hours this last night working on assignments, trying to grade, trying to answer emails, trying to do tutorials, trying to answer everybody's question, trying to do this, trying to look up new and exciting things to learn in creative ways and then stand up in front of the class and teach a little heart out and then jump to your computer to do um, virtual classes online. And But they talk to you so bad. And you know what? We can't say nothing. Yes, ma'am, I understand. You can talk to the administrator. They can talk to us like we are on the bottom of their shoes. And we can't say nothing in our defense. Nothing. You know, we got to be, you know, we're professional. We got to be professional. Yes, um, I understand your concern. Uh -huh. But the policy is, um, if the work is more than three days late, we start at a 70 and each additional day, the assignment is late. You know, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, your child hasn't done any work. Uh, it's my fault? How, how so? Oh, okay. All right, ma'am. I understand. 
Mm -hmm. That's 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 the part. That's the part that's rough. And then if you have an administration administration that doesn't have your back, that's rough too. That's rough too. I will say I feel blessed. There was one case um, the administration did, you know, have my back. You know that that case. So it's hard guys the kids are adorable i love the kids so you know if we have a really hype class who loves me you know and i try to give so much energy so much love i try sometimes i'm sitting there learning the material relearning the materials thinking of creative way creative ways i can teach the materials sometimes i'm just so drained and then you have a parent that just want to bang on you bang on you bang on you and you gotta take those knocks upside your head you just gotta take them so at the end of the day i was like speak to the administration ma'am that that's all I, that's all i got i mean i think that's just how i'm gonna close all my my emails <laughs> um here's the um email address for administration um you can speak to them uh-huh mm -hmm. yeah yeah and i had another lady um like that it's this is a different parent and then we finally got a chance to talk lady and i best friends daughter is wonderful they just she just i guess wanted some attention but sometimes when as a teacher you spread so thin and at one point my emails whoo baby in the hundreds hundreds my emails was coming in i i thought i was gonna lose my mind so thank god for the ela for the uh, for the you know the english lead she she was answering emails for me she even graded some stuff for me so i'm sitting in my car at my daughter's basketball game ready to take out my school laptop turn on my hotspot, and grade some more papers but what i will not do on this saturday is read an email because i don't want anything else bothering my spirit i'll do grades but i will not look at an email until i get to work on monday because that, it bothers my spirit how insensitive some parents can be to teachers. And we are busting our tails with all this new virtual and, and online stuff. Let me tell you, it's unlike, well, of course, duh, it's unlike anything we've experienced before. And the learning curve, I still got trainings I need to do. Oh my God, I forgot about the other thing I gotta do by October. And I got something else I need to do, Jesus. Help us, help us, show us some grace. How about some grace for the teachers? How about that? Do we get grace? All right, y'all, where's my phone? Oh, where's my phone? I, I thought I was vlogging on my phone. We don't, th this is why I haven't been, <laughs> look, you know I'm busy if I'm not posting no videos, honey. But I'm just telling you, please, if you are a parent and you got, and of course, some, some parents do have legitimate gripes. I will say that. There are some parents that do have legitimate gripes. But please, I ask for your grace and I ask for your mercy during this transition and during this time of coronas that has turned this world upside down. Please, please give teachers some grace. Please get us gift cards. Get us some gift cards at McDonald's and maybe for an adult soda because it's been hard. Okay, it's been hard. Jesus, Jesus is a friend of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let me tell you, just give us, show us some grace, show us some love, show us some kindness, show us um, some patience, some understanding. Some of us have over 175 students. I cannot babysit your child when your child is home we have to become a partner and work together to make the world a better place for you and i and your student too <laughs> all right guys have a wonderful wonderful day i am about to do some grades baby baby and my stuff is easy can you write and do a discussion post respond with complete a complete sentence 
a complete sentence, not four lines of written and typed stuff and I don't see a period and I'm about to pass out. So can you give me three to four sentences and respond to two other people posts? Now, if you can't do that by giving your own personal opinion and you get a grade on that, I'm asking for complete sentences. Did you read the instructions? Three to four sentences responding to your post. If it's based on a story or book, I need text evidence. Text evidence means you're taking a piece of text directly from the passage, retyping it in your response, enclosing it in quotations, and then including it and explaining why you chose that piece, and then you're gonna respond. I didn't say add text evidence to your response to two of the posts, just respond. I didn't even say how many sentences, and you can't do that, baby. 65 60 you give me one sentence I, I you give me one sentence and you don't respond to anybody's post 50 to 60 because you didn't do what, what was asked i mean like where, where's the consequence for anything baby let me get out of here because my nerves is getting bad i don't talk so long y'all my camera don't shut off on me all right y'all have a wonderful day and please show um hug a teacher <laughs> hug a teacher today mm -hmm. bring them apples oranges and watermelons too we accept all types of fruit <laughs>